Hello, in this video of WPF, we are going to discuss about the routed events. Since we are working in a graphical user interface where we generally go through the event driven programming itself. So event handling is one of the very major issue while working with any GUI platform. So what we are going to do here, first we will see how we can go for the normal event driven programming like we used to work with any web application like ASP.NET or in Windows application if we have worked. If you haven't worked on that, so we'll start based with the basic event handling but later we'll come to the point of routing the event. All right. Basically, there's a difference between the event handling of the traditional GUI applications which are provided by .NET Framework and with these routing event ergs. All right. So basically what we do here, whenever we talk about an event, it will give you an event like any mouse click or something which would be having any event handler and it will uh, execute the definition inside it. So one event can, may have multiple event handler, all right? So it's a type of event that can invoke event handler on the multiple listeners. I'm beg your pardon, I said multiple handlers, but it will be multiple listeners in element tree. This is where the routing comes into the picture. Even in the previous example of the element tree structure, we have seen like in visual tree structure we said like whenever the routing event will take place it will go for the visual structure tree all right so here itself what we are going to do we are going to use that visual structure for performing the routing of the events so what is this routing event it's basically the clr event any normal clr event that is supported by a routed event class all right so route in routed event class will be helping the normal event to become the routed event all right it is registered with the wpf event system so wpf here will ensure that you can enjoy the routing feature of the events out here so what we are going to see now in the coming videos is the different kind of event handlings here like direct event which is the default one whenever any event will take place like we used to do in WinForms also. So that is the direct event like for example you click a button so whatever the effect will take place it will be for that particular button only. But there are two more things like two more strategies out here bubblings event and tunnel event. So if you follow the visual tree what you will find like when any particular event is raised so any component who is responsible for raising the event, the components above to that will be uh, means that routing will be done by from inner to the outer layer. So that is what a bubble bubbling event means. All right, like there is a bubble. Whenever a bubble is formed in a water, it goes in upward direction. All right. So this is the bubbling event and tunnel event. Tunnel event means from top to down going in a tunnel all right so from the top of that tree structure it will go to the downwards direction all right so in this video we are not going to see any practical implementation but in coming three videos what we are going to do we will implement the direct event bubbling event and tunnel event one by one